Hey guys, on this video I'm going to show you how to animate a lettering logo in Adobe After Effects. I will animate an older logo which I had designed, but you can use the same process with just any word using a font. For my logo I'm going to explore the three files which I will need for the animation. So the first file will be the complete design as it is shown here. The second file will be just the word in white color without the accent at the top because the word is connected and it is actually one single shape. Also it won't have any background. I'm using the purple background just to show you now. And the third file will be just the accent which is a different layer because it is a separate shape again in white color without any background. The only thing to be careful is to be aligned and to be on top of each other because it will be easier to align them later for the animation. I have exported them already on vector illustrator files and will insert them shortly on the After Effects project. So I open After Effects and I create a new project. I create a new composition. I add the name. I can add the dimensions manually but I'm going to select the 4K size for this composition from the presets. I keep the duration as it is because I can change it later if needed and for the background color I choose a grey color instead of white so the background will be visible. Now I need to add the files I exported earlier so I will drag and drop them on the project panel. Next I'm going to add a solid white background by right clicking on the composition panel here and select new, new solid. I will choose a white color as it is. The dimensions are as the composition, so I click OK. Next, I need to add the complete design, which will be the guide for the other files too, and I will add it on top of the white solid layer. I need to increase the size a bit, so I click on this small arrow here, and under transform, I can see the scale which I will increase to something like 193. I also add the two other files on top and change the scale to 193 as well. You can just press the letter S on the keyboard to show only the scale. So the reason I aligned them earlier on Illustrator is to be aligned here as well. Then right click on these layers as you have them selected and create shapes from files so you can change the color and make edits. Go to create and create shapes from vector layer. Next select the two illustrator files and delete them. I will change the color of the fill for the two new shapes to the same purple as the background. Now that I have the logo on the correct location I can hide the design. Let's fit the design so we can see all of the workspace. So I'm going to start by animating the word first and then the accent. With the word layer selected only, I choose the pen tool, make sure the mask icon here is selected and start creating a path following the shape of the letters. It doesn't have to be perfect at this stage. Next, search for the stroke effect under Generate and either double click it or just drag and drop it to the layer. Now you need to check the box for the old masks, change the paint style to reveal original image, set the spacing to 0, the brush hardness to 100% and increase the brush size so the word is perfectly revealed. In this stage you can edit the path to improve it. Then go to about 2 seconds on the timeline and under keyframe at the end option here by clicking this clock and then go to the beginning of the timeline and set the end to 0. Now find the keyframes on the timeline
select them, right click and go to keyframe assistant is the last option here and select easy ease. This will make the motion smoother. But to make it even more smoother, click on the graph editor icon and adjust the curve. So I click on the anchor point and I edit the guide. You can also add another keyframe if you think it will improve it. So set the guide somewhere here that I would like to add the new keyframe. And I click this circle here. Okay, now I think it's good enough. And then I'm going to duplicate the word layer three times by selecting it and I click Command D or Control D on a PC three times. Leave the first copy purple as it is, then change the second copy to a lighter purple. Then the third copy to another color. I use the same light blue I had before and the last one to a light grey color. Select all four copies and press the U button on the keyboard and this will show you all the keyframes you have added. Now move the second copy a bit forward, the third copy a bit more and the fourth copy a bit further more. I will do the same process with the accent shape at the top, but I'm going to skip this part. Then to finalize the animation, I'm going to reveal the complete design. I will move the design layer which I added earlier at the top and make it visible. Select the pan behind tool here and move the center spot where the previous animation ends, so about here. Take the pen tool while you have this layer selected and create a path around this spot. Make sure to close the path. Find the mask on this layer and reduce the mask and expansion till it is disappeared. Now add a keyframe, then move the guide on the timeline one second and increase the mask expansion till it fills the whole workspace. Make the keyframes easy ease and adjust the graph editor for smoother motion. I will select the selection tool and now I can edit the graph. In addition, you can duplicate the design layer a couple of times to add some extra layers with lower opacity on each of them and a bit of delay between them, similar to how I did with the world layer earlier. Now you can reduce the actual time you'd like to export because the animation didn't fill the entire time of the composition. By click on the side of this bar and drag to the left. And then export the animation. To export it, simply go to composition the top menu, then add to render queue. You can change the destination of the file from here and any settings or file type to export from here. Then just click render. And that was how to animate the lettering logo or type in general. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and what videos you'd like to see next. Till next time, like, share and subscribe. See ya.